Hello everybody, welcome to my home. We're going to do a quick Neos tutorial on how to set up an avatar, specifically the Radical Rabbit. Um, so let's just jump into it. The first thing we need to do is you need to navigate in your file browser. Oh, let's move to first person so you can see this. So you want to move to your file browser, go to the folder where you have your stuff set up. In our case, we're working on the Zawu Radical Rabbit, or Rascal Rabbit, sorry, not Radical. Ooh, Rascal Rabbit by Nimkol. My brain did not want to work on the right words today. So what we're looking for in Neo specifically, because this is a bit different than setting up in uni uh, Unitary, is we are looking for the Zabu Rascal Rabbit FBX. So we're going to double click that, select 3D model, regular slash avatar, then we want to make sure we click auto humanoid height. This is important because otherwise it may not be at the right scale and then click run import and we'll just take a half step back. Wait for the import. And there we go. All right. So this little doohickey is my dev tool. So we're just going to use our secondary action to select any part of the, uh, the mesh. I guess in this case we probably grabbed a collider, but then we're going to hit our radio menu and we're going to click open inspector. All right, with the inspector open, we want to come to this arrow with the double line stem, take us back to root. And before this avatar specifically, we're not going to be using the, the tiny top or the tiny bot or the tiny shorts. So we're going to select them and click delete. Um, if you are, you can skip this step. It's not a big deal, but we're going to show you how to set up the clothing packs as well for, um, leg warmers and the shorts and I believe the hoodie, uh, no, the, um, the T, the tank, the T. All right. So we can set this aside for now because the first thing we want to do before we touch this avatar at all, other than taking things off of it, we want to turn this into an avatar. So going back to your home menu, you're going to find a little button called avatar creator. It's right here under seated mode, which I need to turn off. So I was sitting earlier and then we're just going to grab, it's going to spawn this tool. This is the avatar creator. Now the goal here, now that I am, too short. Let's make this a bit hard. Is to place the VR headset on the avatar's head where you want to. Um, I should probably set myself as busy. Give me a second. Uh, where you want to be able to view from. Let's set ourselves a busy real quick. There we go. All right. So now the head is in the right place. We need to then attach the right and left hands. So remember that these are actually switched in VR. Um, your right is going to go on your left when you're looking at the avatar and your left will go on your right when you're looking at the avatar. So let's see if I can get these up there just fine. And the idea here is to try to get them to line up as well as you can. Um, for the purposes of this, since I am not actually going to be using this, I'm not going to be a hundred percent precise, but the idea is to line up the wrist node here with the wrist on both sides. Um, we may have, you may have to turn off symmetry, which we're going to do here just to get them lined up. You want both hands to be in the right place. So there we go. All right, cool. So with that, with the, the hands in the right place, the, the, VR headset on the face in the right place. You can click create and we now have an avatar. This uh, technically is equipable. You could wear this right now, but you would look like, well, nothing. You would look just like this base flat shape, no colorations, no shading at all. So what we need to do now is we need to come back to our inspector and double click Zabu radical rabbit. Now, I need you to pay attention to a few things. We have a few things here. We have matte body, matte extra, matte alphas, and matte alpha blend. These are important. We need to pay attention to those. These are our materials. So if we pull this out, this is the body. And we're going to do these one at a time. You'll see we have all these holes for different textures, emissive maps, normal maps, etc. 
they don't come packaged with the FBX. Um, this usually is together in the FBX, or not the FBX, the Unity scene, but it does not come that way in Neo, so we have to set those up. Not terribly hard to do. What you want to do now is go back to your Zwoo folder with the Rascal Rabbit. And you want to click Body, Hair, and Textures. So you want to click it once. Now, in the corner, you'll see this blue Import button, and we want to do a Batch Import. Move to where you want these to pop in, because we're going to have a lot of things appearing at once. We can delete this, actually. And then click Image slash Texture, and you'll see a lot of things imported all at once. Um, yeah, cool. So, starting with the body. Um, we are going to use the alternative body here. So we're going to select it. And we're going to drag it closer to me. There we go. Now if you grab it and pull it close, you can see it says Matte Body Base Color Alt. That goes into your albedo. Your albedos are typically your main colors. All right, setting that aside, we're going to grab this one here. This one says it's also a base color, and I, I, I may be corrected about this. You're welcome to do so. I believe this goes on your detail albedo texture. As you can see, we now have better whites and colorations in certain parts. We can set this aside now. All right, now comes the fun part. We have two distinct types of bodies here. Um, they did not separate these in the folders. One is a male and one is a female. So if we look at this one right here, I believe this is the female normal. Yes. So if you look, it says female normal. If you were to apply to this to this character, it would not look right. So you want to get rid of that. And we want to grab the other normal, the male normal. Or the just regular normal as it's listed here. Because it's originally, I guess, built as a male avatar. And we click normal map. And now you can see we now have even finer details. Um, it looks like you have depth in places that was not there before. Definitely, like, around the chest and the ribs and the abs. All right. Um, then we select our ambient occlusion, or AO3 here. This goes into our occlusion map spot. And this helps with shadowing. So, um, I believe the normals themselves may be flipped in Neos. I actually should take a look at that. There is a readme file that comes with this. So, let's take a look. All right, using the SS VR chat. Uh, asymmetrical Neos VR. So there are some things to look out for if you want to upload this model into Neos VR. The normal maps come in the negative Y direction, which is for direct X um, orientations. Neos VR, however, does use OpenGL, therefore it takes Y+. plus. So all normal maps need to be flipped. Uh, the green channel of the normal maps for it to look right in OpenGL. I don't know how to do this. Um, if anybody knows, please let me know. Um... I cannot, I cannot say that it's terribly different, weird looking, but I don't typically look at myself. No one's ever mentioned the point that it looks weirdness. We'll actually set this up because there are some things we need to remember here that we'll deal with in a minute. So that is the body for the most part. We can set this stuff aside and then we're going to move on to the next texture set behind this. Next is the matte extras. These are things like Whiskers, eyes, for instance. We're going to open it up, and we're going to pull it over here. We can see it now. We have three separate eye sets to choose from. I'm going to choose this blue one right here, because it's closest, honestly. And uh, I don't plan to use this one personally, because I have my own custom colored one that I've done. All right, so as you can see, it says matte extras base color. Again, this goes into your albedo texture place. Like so. As you can see, as we add things, it does change the orb. We needed the emissive map. Now, this is important. So, you can't see this right yet, because we haven't gotten there yet. But when the eyes are shown, and we'll, we'll show you this in a minute. Um, if you want your eyes to be visible in dark spaces as a slight glow, you need to use the emissive map. And you'll need to set it to a, a value. Uh, which we'll do at, just to sh show you what it looks like if you don't. 
Um, I forget to put the metallic on our body. I am bad for that. I'm sorry, guys. So there was one thing to add to the body. This is the metallic plus gloss. Um, and it goes down here at the bottom. And what it does, so you look closely, we now have a shine to our body. This is done. We can set it, well, we're mostly done. We, I keep forgetting we're not done quite yet. I got out of order and now I'm, my brain's a little bit scattered. We need to add our normals. See, normal map. Um, we need our metallic map. This, of course, is what sets our glossiness. Oh, I might have actually put it in the thing. And then we need our ambient occlusion for our extras as well. All right, so. I believe this was extras, right? Yes. So we're going to move these like so. So there are five textures for the extras. So we have a albedo, emissive, normal, occlusion, and metallic. All these are required to make the eyes look right, which we'll get to in a little bit. Now, moving down the list, we are now going to be working on our matte alphas or material alphas. So we pulled this out. And every time I pull one out, I'm using my trigger button. I should have said that earlier to open these. Now, this is, I believe our hair. We'll find out in a second. If you ever need to know what something is, click this button right here and check it. So yeah, that's our hair. We can put that back where it was. Uh, cancel, we don't need to change it. All right, we have a few options for hair. We have this blue color. Well, two blue colors. I don't know why we have two of these. This is an alternative. Hmm. All right, well, I'm actually gonna use the secondary here, the Mount Alpha base color alternate. Again, goes into that location there. We need to grab our normal, put it in our normal, and the ambient occlusion for our normal or for our alphas. And I believe this is, yep, this is the other one. So this is our matte alpha spec plus gloss. And that goes down here in the metallic. All right, so now our, our hair actually looks glossy, as you can see. Now the color isn't too much. Um, that's because we have everything set to a black. Um, if you look on, we're not a black. Yeah, we have this one set to a black, not a gray. Um, if you want to brighten that up, just open this and just put it to white. Now it'll show the colors as they were in that. Okay. That is the alphas. Now we need to work on our blend. Now the blend is small details like whiskers, eyelashes, corners of the eyes. Um, those actually, oddly enough, are the same as your alphas. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this out, trigger click, and then we're just going to grip this, so it pulls it out, and we're gonna click each of the individual things. Um, the occlusion, and the metallic map. All right. So, everything has been textured, but if you look at your character, you're gonna notice the eyes are black. There are two things we need to do. One is the blend, which is the one we just did, needs to be changed to cut out. All right, now if you look closely, you can see the eyes. They're glossy and they have good definition, but they're kind of dull. We need to fix this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna click this right here, and we're gonna actually slide this over. And now you see they're bright. And if we leave things as they are, this is a good brightness. You can even make it brighter if you like. Um, I personally am not too worried about it. Now, um, 
You can leave like this and you'll look fine. I personally, however, enjoy to have the eyes glow. And what you do is you're gonna come into the color on a miss of see this black block box here. You click it, you come down to the bottom and you're just gonna, oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna drag this up to white. And you're gonna drag this over till the brightness is where you want it. I'm gonna go about 25% on that. Now you see this glow, this bright, vibrant glow. This will actually also still glow in the dark. So if I were to get rid of all our lights up here, this would still glow. Um, and we would be able to see that in the dark regardless. All right. Our body is done. We have textured the body. We can close all this out. So just grab all the orbs and delete them. Hit X's on all the things but leave our main scene inspector up um and we're going to close this out this out all right so we have everything textured but the bells are not so what we need to do is we come into bell collar and we'll see we have two materials here now to get those it's under clothing textures i suggest doing these one at a time because they can be a lot easier to do. Um, you want the hmm. You want the PNGs. Uh, do I need the silver on this? Let's see. Yes, we do need the silver on this. So you need the normal. So we need the silver, the height, the normal. Uh, then we move on to the collar. That's the black. Uh, there's a white version of it. You're welcome to use. Right. So the top one is our mat collar. So we have our collar here and we want to grab this our, it's our height. That's our black bell collar. So we go to this drop it in and now we have our bell collar uh, this is our bell collar height map so that things stand out and this is our bell collar normal I was pretty sure there were things on there besides this so I must be wrong um, and then we pull out bell grab the bell silver and we drop it in this seems weird and wrong though where am i what am i missing and why am i missing it when in doubt check an avatar you know what it's working on so we'll do our inventory and we'll spawn out one of our own so as you see i've already colored this one they should look like this so let's see what we're we're missing in our here our thing here, uh, root node, bell collar. That's correct, occlusion, oh, yeah, where's our occlusion maps and everything? This looks to be Going right there to, oop, nope, wrong one. All right, let's see. We have, that's the black, normal height occlusion. We're using this one for the occlusion too, I believe. Yeah, that seems to be everything. Hmm. I could swear there was more to it, but I guess not. Doesn't look too glossy, though, does it? So, that's opaque. These are both opaque. Yep, all right, so. We can color the bell. In fact, I think if we move it up and over... 
Yep, that's a little bit better. That's somewhat glossy. Uh, we can probably change the metallic on that to be much more glossy. Yep, so now they shine. Um, we need to change... This over, and there we go. So now they're shining. Um, on the collar, we can change its color if we want. Let's say we want to make the studs red. Unfortunately, this also does tint the collar. Um, I wish it didn't, but now we want to change smooth this. So you can see it darkens up the collar, but the collar itself says red. And we can change the metallic if we want. But we're gonna leave it like that. So, all right, we're done with the collar. We have completed two of our objectives so far. And that is getting the avatar skinned and ready to go. And this is not, this is not, you don't have to do it the same way I do, but getting some of those things in the right place is important, especially on the textures. We're going to grab you, we're going to get rid of you. Cool. All right, so we have a usable, technically wearable avatar right now. You could stop right here and you could, you could run this all day long. But if you were like me and you bought the clothing packs, we need to then do that. Now, the clothing packs are a bit, um, a bit more work. I believe I put them under Zawu, didn't I? Yes, I did, didn't I? Let's see. Um, where did I put the? Hmm, where did I put the other one? Oh, they're seasonal plus casual. So we're going to do this one because this is the safer work pack that, uh, or safest for work pack that we have. Um, and so here's the thing about adding clothes to this avatar, or I guess just any avatar in Neos in general. Um, if they come pre-packaged separately, though, you're just going to be in an FBX. Um, you don't use the blend. <laughs> just don't do it. Um, you can import it, but I wouldn't suggest that it will import all the blend shapes and make things a lot harder. So if your clothes come in separate FBXs, you'll need to import the clothes you want based on the FPX. Uh, mine does not. Uh, Nimcol has packaged them together. And we are going to oh, let's start from the beginning. So once you import it, you click 3D model, regular slash avatar. Again, auto humanoid height. This is important for these because it will determine the size of our meshes. Boom. So we have clothes. Now, we don't need everything here. I'm only going to do the t-shirt and the shorts. So we select our uh, our clothes, open an inspector, and we're again going to go up to the root, open our root node, and you'll see the tank top, the shorts, the hoodie, and the joggers. Now, we're not going to do the joggers, so we can double click them and delete them. And we're not going to do the hoodie. So we're going to delete them. That leaves us with this outfit right here. Now, here's where things get interesting. There are different ways of doing this. Um, my personal preference is to close our root node, click center root, and make a child. So what we want to do is then rename this child to clothing. This is optional. I do this because on my avatar, I have toggles for different outfits. Um, and I just prefer my clothing be in its own folder. So what we want to do here is you're going to grab the tank top. You're going to bring it over here under clothing. You're going to click clothing, or you're going to hover over clothing and let go. Notice it switches from a circle to an arrow, showing us that the tank top is now parented under clothing. So that means the tank top is now a child of this folder. We're going to do the same with the booty shorts as well. And we're going to drag them onto clothing, and now they're there too. 
we want to leave this alone. We do not want to get rid of the scene inspector yet because if you look, you see all these references to bones. If we delete this and it goes away, if we delete the armature and it all goes away, all that disappears. <laughs> and I will give you a bit of advice. It's frustrating. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, back to our root node. We're going to yank out our armature like so, and we're going to click to open it up. This is important because this is how we get this mesh onto this body. And how we do that is a process that takes a little bit more time than most people are probably wanting to do, but we'll, we'll, we'll deal with this real quick. So if you come over here and you look at your bones list, you'll see that they have bones uh, sets of them, but those are not the same bones as our, our actual avatar's armature bones. So what we're gonna do is we're come over here to our root armature, and for each one of these, we're gonna just grab it from the list, hover over, and let go. Now, if you notice, it pulled the mesh to that bone. So moving down the list, next is spine, then chest, then neck, under that should be our head, we'll grab head, okay, then we're going to move on to our shoulders, All right, now this looks almost correct, but there are a few things off. If you look, that doesn't look quite right. Um, that is a good question. Why doesn't that look quite right? <laughs> Let's check our stuff. We have... So we need to add our shoulder twists. So we left shoulder, left arm, upper arm twist. And that fixed that one right there. And then when you go to our right shoulder, right arm, upper arm twist, put that into the right arm. All right, and then I'm not sure why we have the toes. It could be that the toes are how we're tracking locations on this, I don't know. But we wanna add the, I always add these to be safe, but especially if you look back here, we need to do the tail. So what we're going to do is we're going to just keep dragging bones over. So next would be left toe. So we're going to go to left leg, left knee, left ankle, grab our left toe, drop it in, look for our upper leg twist, drop it in. Right toe, we do the same. Come all the way down to it, grab the toe. Our leg twist gets put in as well. And now we need to go back to the hip. And under Z dynamic root hip, we should find our tail. And we want tail one for tail one. And now if we walk around the back of the body, you can see that the, the mesh is on there correctly. Um, unfortunately, the color does cut through it, but this is correct, it's, it's over the top of the tail, and we are ready to move on to the shorts. All right, the shorts, we are doing the same thing for them. So we move the shorts, we'll start again with the hips. We'll drag it over, spine, chest, left leg, left toe, upper leg twist, right leg, right toe, right twi upper leg twist, and then our tail yet again. Now, 
we have successfully attached both models to our avatar and we don't have any texture on them, but they are properly set. So if you look, they're right where they should be. Everything should be right where it's at. Now we can grab, well, we can do this. So we can now click this and click the red uh, trash can to get rid of it. And it's apparently going to stay there regardless for a while. I don't know why. Um, processing rig meshes, doesn't matter. We've moved the meshes over. Apparently, sometimes this happens in EOS. It's, it's a glitch, I've been told. All right, so we can close this one out. And now we can skin our clothes. So for the seasonal pack, all your clothes are in image textures. And we want to pick which one we want. So you have multiple different kinds. We're going to go with the material drip. So we're just going to click this and batch import it. It's an image texture and we'll let them load in. All right, so now we have two sets of stuff. We have our booty shorts and our tank. So again, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna grab our material, click to open it and the process same. Grab your shirt texture. This one is our ambient occlusion. This should be our What's this? Height. Our metallic. Yep. And our normals. Uh, there we go. Normal. So that is our shorts. Now I am going to show you guys something. I did not know at first because I was not paying enough attention, but it is important. So, some people consider this to be safe work, some people don't, but some people consider the large bulge on this character to be on the line. If you need to change that, there is a blend shape right here called Shape Bulge Flat. Just drag it over, and as you can see as I drag it, it changes it to a flat mesh. Um, that's... All that needs to be done and you can then color this so if i wanted to color this let's open this back up real quick and i'll show you what i mean if you want to color those shorts you would come here to this little albedo color click this and then you can change the color how you like lighten it i'm going to go with a green and we're going to click ok and get rid of this again and now we have some green shorts all right, we are done with these technically, so we can get rid of them, which we'll do real quick. Oop, too far. All right, and then we need to work on the hoodie. Or, I'm sorry, the tank top. So here's our tank top. Um, as you can see, it looks very dull. It is untextured, and so we're gonna pull the materials out. And we're going to again go and grab each one. Just get ourselves in a better position. Click, set. Um, that is our AO. This should be our height. Metallic. See, metallic, it's just very, very dark. You can barely see it. Um, we're gonna, there we go. So our metallic, then our normal. All right, those are all in. And now if you look at our tank top, tank top looks good. Um, if you want to change how shiny this is, again, that's gonna be under here under metallic. And you just change the smoothness. So inverse smoothness. If you notice it looks a slight bit shinier. Um, so we want to make it real dull. Oop, I'm moving the wrong one. Make it real dull. Just do this. 
Eh, doesn't need to be doing too much, so we're just going to reverse, reverse. And there we go. All right. So we have colored our avatar. Let's change the shirt color. Let's do a blue. All right. We are done. This technically is done. You would then just pick him up. Well, specifically, let's make this very clear. Let's, let's, let's make this very, very clear. Um, when you want to save your avatar, you do not have to be wearing it. You don't have to be in it like I'm in mine. You would open your, your menu. You go to inventory. Um, I have an avatars folder, but you can save it right here. You would then grab it, hit your context menu, and click save to inventory. I'm not going to do that because I don't intend to keep this version of the avatar because I have a per a skin one. But if we click equip the avatar, as you can see, I'm no longer in that avatar. Uh, let's see, where's my and if we come over here, let's close this out. If we come over here into the dark space, you can see I am let's grab one of these actually. I am now this avatar. Luckily, for the most part, the uh, visines are set. So this mouth shape, when I make noises, that's already set. Um, we don't have to worry about that. Let's grab this and take this back now. I'm going to show you something that you might want to add, um, which isn't a lot of work and actually is a quality of life thing. So we're going to switch back to our other avatar, but I'm going to show you this real quick. So if you look very closely right here, you can see the nose is wobbling. There is an animation, I believe, in the uh, the VR chat version that has that already done. But if you look, it doesn't do it here. And what we want to do, we can close this. We can close this. We want to have that happen. We would then go back over here to the radical rabbit or rascal rabbit. My brain is not wanting to do words today. And we're going to come down here to the bottom. And if you look under blend shape weights, if we grab this and we come over here and look at this, look for no switch. So if you look, that opens and closes the nose. Now, there's nothing driving it. You see how that's white? Nothing is driving that. All these pink ones are driven. So what we want to do, so we're going to go down to the bottom, just to make this easier to find it in a few seconds, and we're going to attach a component. Now, um, I believe this is under transforms, I believe. Let's see if I can remember where this is at. Uh, Drivers, am I correct? I may not be correct, it's, yes, wobbler. So we want a 1D wobbler. So we put that in, and then we come back up here, and we're just going to grab that animation. So we're just gonna grab it, see how it shows up on our tooltip. We're gonna come back down here to the wobbler, and where it says target, you're gonna drop that right into the target. And then base value, we're going to set that to a 1. Or no, we're going to set it to a 0. Our magnitude is going to be a 1. And now, I believe that should... Uh, oh, speed. Set that to a 1. See if that does that now. It's been awesome to mess with this. Hmm, I can't remember which. Was this a one? Hold on. Oh, yeah, it's very, very small, but you can see it if I get real close. See how that's moving now? So if we want to change the, the magnitude and speed, let's change this to a two. Much bigger movement. As you can see, um, I would actually go with a 1.5 on this or a 1.25. Change our speed 
to, let's say, a 2. So there you go. Notice that it is variable, so it doesn't always do the same speed at the same time. That's it. That's that's the avatar. Like I said, at this point, you would save it in your inventory, um, and it would be selectable in-game. You could then wear and use this around. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions um, for this specific avatar, there is a Discord. I will link below for this avatar. Um, I will link to this avatar as well. And y'all have a great day.